just what was in there, you, it's hard to say or hard to tell anybody about because there's just so much that was accumulated. Mm -hmm. oh. And now there's nothing. After losing mom was enough, and then this happened to dad, like he, like he needed it. It is just hard. was sitting on the dresser. Good, I good. dusted and washed that all the time. Oh, we'll clean this up and... Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, <laughs> my daughter gave that to my mother, my wife, for a Mother's Day oh. present. Okay. Many years ago. Look at that, Dad. Gorgeous. Isn't that great? We'll go find some more, huh? I, I <laughs> feel like, you know, I want a jackpot right here. You got the jackpot on that one. Okay. Well, I got my wife and my doggy. They were both cremated, and I grabbed their stuff, and I left. I left. I, you know, you have your life tied up into something, or in one general area, then then something like this comes along, and your life just goes up in the ashes. Yeah. It's very unfortunate. It's so sad. We survived. Your guys is, hot. is it okay so inside? I don't know. We're gonna have a building inspector check the inside. And then oops, it just started going up and then I left after I got like that big. I'm amazed you stayed stayed for a team and get that big. <laughs> and That's... my dad and my brother stayed even longer until the two houses right there caught on fire and the power line started snapping. My well, mother called me from work and said, Hey the house is it's in the paper, and that was our first indication that the house was uh, still standing. Having paradise right in your own backyard, you now to see it like this is just pretty devastating. Now most of it's gone. It's gonna be. It'll come back, but it's gonna be a while. <laughs>